uh, Judy Harris from our board, who's been just a wonderful founding board member and very helpful with today's uh, lunch. And I'm going to say a few words. And actually, I want to thank Judy and I want to thank our staff for the National Research Center for Women and Families. Would you all just stand up and really want to thank you for having me? Drugs. 
Why aren't clinical trials required to make sure the implant, that implants are safe and effective to make sure they won't break inside your body? As a result of our work, the FDA is considering a dramatic overhaul of how they approve medical devices. They are already requiring better safety studies to make sure that these products are truly safe. We worked with Congress, the FDA, health professionals to reduce the widespread misuse of some dangerous prescription drugs. Major pharmaceutical companies have been fined a total of a billion dollars for offering kickbacks to nursing homes. Kickbacks that were used to encourage nursing homes to use drugs that are ineffective but can kill patients. Those same drugs are being used for kids with ADHD, even though it don't, they don't help them. These fines are important because we need to do more <coughs> to protect our parents, our children, and all our loved ones. Whether we were explaining complicated medical research information to families or healthcare professionals or making sense of controversial new research on new vaccines, old medications, or toxic chemicals and toys, we scrutinized research in a way that is unique in Washington, actually calling the scientists directly to find out what their research can tell us and what it can't tell us. Because we have no financial ties whatsoever to any companies that make medical products or sell treatments, we can and do provide unbiased information to patients and their families, the media, and policymakers. I was gonna say, on your table, you will find envelopes, but you won't. So I want everybody to toss the rolls out of their bread basket. Um, no, I'm kidding. But please, please, inside the oh, they're inside your booklets. Please take a $20 bill out of your purses or your pockets or your wallets. Write us a check sometime. Remember us at the end of the year. We'd be so grateful for your support. And in exchange, we promise to continue our research and advocacy work representing the interests and the needs of ordinary men, women, and children who often have no voice in our nation's capital. Thank you for coming today, and please support the center as if your life depended on it. It just might someday. So thank you very much.